In the heart of what is now known as Guatemala, a dense blanket of vegetation conceals secrets of a civilization that once mastered the land. This is the story of the Maya, a people whose achievements in science, art, and architecture rival those of any culture in the ancient world. In this series, we are going to take a look at some of their most incredible architectural achievements, through the ancient ruins discovered in southeastern Mexico, to the Maya pyramids in Guatemala and Belize, and even the palaces and ball courts in Honduras and El Salvador. Our journey begins at perhaps the most famous of all Maya ruins, Chichen Itza. This ancient site is a monumental testament to the Maya's astronomical precision and architectural genius. The Kukulkan Pyramid, also known as El Castillo, stands as an incredible feat of engineering, with its 365 steps representing the days of the solar year. This site, a blend of mystery and mathematics, showcases the Maya's deep understanding of the cosmos. But perhaps even more remarkable is their understanding of acoustics. If you were to stand in front of the El Castillo Pyramid, at the base of the stairs and clap, the sound reverberates back from the pyramid steps and miraculously creates a sound reminiscent of the call of the Quetzal, a sacred bird to the Maya. As well as the acoustics, one of the most spectacular features of El Castillo is the representation of the feathered serpent god, Kukulkan. During the spring and autumn equinoxes, the setting sun casts a series of triangular shadows on the northwest side of the pyramid that coincide with the carved stone serpents along the staircases creating the illusion of a serpent, slithering down the steps. The Great Ball Court here at Chichen Itza is the largest in Mesoamerica, illustrating the importance of the Mesoamerican ballgame to the Maya, a game they called Pak. The ball court, as with the El Castillo Pyramid, has precise acoustics, so precise that a whisper at one end can be heard clearly at the other. The site also includes the Temple of the Warriors, an impressive structure surrounded by rows of carved columns depicting warriors. This temple reflects the militaristic aspect of the Maya society and their practices of human sacrifice, which were believed to appease the gods and ensure prosperity and balance. Not far from the grandeur of Chichen Itza lies an ancient Maya city called Uxmal, where the Pyramid of the Magician towers over the ancient city. According to legend, this pyramid was constructed in a single night by a dwarf king, a myth that adds to the mystique of this ancient place. Uxmal's rounded edges and intricate facades speak volumes of the Maya's artistic vision and their ability to sculpt limestone into breathtaking structures. Uxmal was established by 500 AD. Unlike many Maya sites that are aligned with the cardinal directions, its structures are aligned in reference to astronomical events, underscoring the Maya's sophisticated understanding of astronomy. The Governor's Palace, another impressive structure, is known for its long, low facade and intricately carved motifs. This building sits at the top of a high platform and stretches over 100 meters in length, featuring some of the finest examples of Puk architecture, including images of the rain god Chak, geometric patterns, and serpents. Maya Pyramid served as a sacred space for priests to conduct rituals, sacrifices, and offerings to the gods. So in the quiet town of Izamal, it's no surprise we find another ancient pyramid. Here, the Kinich Kakmu Pyramid, dedicated to the sun god, radiates with the golden hues of the setting sun, reminding us of the Maya's reverence for their deities. Izamal was a major pilgrimage site in the Maya world, attracting worshippers from across the region who came to pay homage to the gods and partake in religious ceremonies. After the Spanish conquest, Izamal became an important missionary center. The Spanish built a Franciscan convent, San Antonio de Padua, directly on top of a former Maya temple platform symbolizing the overlay of Catholicism on the indigenous religion. One of the lesser-known Maya sites, Chachoban, offers a glimpse into the ceremonial practices that were once so important to the ancient Maya. Chachoban's tranquility is a stark contrast to the bustling cities that spanned this region of Mesoamerica, providing a moment of reflection on the passage of time. The origins of Chachoban date back to around 200 BC. By 700 AD, the site had become a significant regional center, involved in complex social, economic, and religious networks that span the entire Maya region. The Gran Basamento, the large central feature of Chachoban, was built in the classic Maya stepped pyramid style and believed to have been used for religious ceremonies and rituals. It showcases the architectural skills and urban planning of the ancient Maya, with its design and construction requiring significant labor and organization, indicating the importance of the site and the structures it once supported. 
Our next ancient Maya city is Koba. Koba's influence extended over a large area, including much of the northeastern Yucatan Peninsula and beyond, connecting to other important sites through an extensive network of stone causeways known as Sakbeob. One of the most iconic structures in Koba is the Nohochmul Pyramid, which is one of the tallest Maya pyramids on the Yucatan Peninsula, standing at approximately 42 meters tall. Visitors can still climb its 120 steps to the top, which provides a strategic panoramic view of the surrounding jungle. Tulum, our next ancient Maya city, served as a trading port for Koba. It is one of the most well-preserved coastal Maya sites, offering a unique blend of cultural history and breathtaking natural beauty. Tulum was one of the last cities built and inhabited by the Maya. It was at its height between the 13th and 15th centuries and managed to survive about 70 years after the Spanish began occupying Mexico. The name Tulum is a relatively modern one, meaning wall in Yucatec Maya, a reference to the site's fortifications. The ancient name of the site was Zama, meaning dawn. One of the most iconic buildings is the Castillo, which is perched on the edge of a cliff overlooking the Caribbean Sea. This building served both as a temple and a lookout tower. Other significant structures here include the House of the Columns, also known as the Great Palace, the Temple of the Descending God, believed to have been a residence for Tulum's elite, the House of the Halach Uinik, which could have been the home of the ruler of Tulum, and the House of the Senot, which was situated near a natural sinkhole, considered sacred by the Maya, serving as gateways to the underworld, as well as providing a source of fresh water. Palenque is an ancient Maya city-state located in present-day Chiapas, Mexico. It is one of the most studied and celebrated of the Maya sites, known for its exquisite architecture, sophisticated engineering, and detailed hieroglyphic inscriptions. The city flourished during the 7th century under the reign of its most famous ruler, Kinich Janab Pakal, or Pakal the Great. The archaeological site of Palenque covers an area of approximately 2.5 square kilometers, but it is believed that the urban core and the surrounding residential areas spread over more than 20 square kilometers, much of which remains unexcavated and hidden beneath the dense jungle. The Temple of Inscriptions, which is a pyramid, is one of the most emblematic structures here. It was built as a funerary monument for Pakal the Great, whose tomb was discovered inside the pyramid in 1952 by Mexican archaeologist Alberto Ruz Luillier. The temple gets its name from the three large tablets of hieroglyphic inscriptions found within, which record approximately 180 years of the city's history. Our next ancient Maya site is Copan, and it's one of the most significant archaeological sites of the Maya civilization. Located in the western part of Honduras, near the border with Guatemala, it was a major center of Maya culture from the 5th to the 9th centuries AD and is renowned for its beautiful stone sculptures, intricate carvings, and hieroglyphics, which have provided a wealth of information about the ancient Maya. The site consists of several buildings, including the Acropolis, housing the royal residences and administrative buildings, the Great Plaza, known for its stelae and altars that dot the landscape, the Ball Court, one of the most impressive in the Maya world, the Hieroglyphic Stairway, the largest single text of Maya hieroglyphics in existence, and the Rosalilla Temple, a beautifully preserved temple found under the Acropolis. Our next site sees us back in Mexico, to the ancient site of Calakmul. It was once a major rival of Tikal, another dominant Maya city-state located in what is now Guatemala. Calakmul is home to more than 6,500 structures, with its urban core covering approximately two square kilometers. Among its most notable features are the large pyramid structures, including the massive structure 2, which stands over 45 meters, making it one of the tallest Maya pyramids. And when it comes to pyramids, there are few more impressive than our next site, Moral Reforma. The ruler of Calakmul, Yuknum the Great, supervised the accession of six-year-old Muan Jol, king of Moral Reforma, in 662 AD. This Mayan city was a river port, which has an area of 87 hectares and at least 30 mounds, some of them large, which if excavated, would likely reveal pyramids of significant size. Our next stop is Tikal. This was once one of the largest and most significant cities of the ancient Maya civilization. Located in the rainforests of northern Guatemala, Tikal was a major center of power, culture, and commerce for the Maya, flourishing from approximately 600 BC to 900 AD, a period known as the Classic Period in Maya history. The site is renowned for its impressive architecture, including more than 3,000 structures such as towering temples, palatial residences, 
administrative buildings, and ball courts. Among its most iconic structures are the Temple of the Great Jaguar and the Temple of the Masks, which flank the Great Plaza, a ceremonial center of the city. The North Acropolis and the Central Acropolis are other significant architectural complexes within Tikal, serving as both administrative centers and royal burial sites. Our next ancient Maya site is Nakum. Nakum is located in the northeastern region of Guatemala. It is situated in the heart of the Maya Biosphere Reserve, a region that encompasses several other significant Maya sites, including Tikal and Yaksha. Nakum is notable for its well-preserved architectural complexes. One of the most remarkable features of Nakum is its Acropolis, a large complex of buildings that served as the ceremonial and administrative center of the city. The Acropolis contains several impressive structures, including Temple 9, which is one of the largest pyramid temples at this ancient site. Another significant architectural feature here is the presence of a unique burial chamber within one of its pyramids. This chamber, discovered by archaeologists, contained rich offerings and artifacts, suggesting that it was the final resting place of a high-ranking individual, possibly a ruler of Nakum. Edzna, our next ancient Maya site, is located in the northwestern part of the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. Edzna is renowned for its unique architectural features, which include a sophisticated network of canals and reservoirs. These hydraulic systems were crucial for the collection and storage of rainwater, essential for the city's survival due to the lack of natural water sources in the area. The most prominent structure in Edzna is the main temple, known as the Great Acropolis. This complex is a five-story building that demonstrates the advanced architectural skills of the Maya. The Great Acropolis offers a panoramic view of the surrounding plains, highlighting the strategic importance of the site. The decline of Edzna began around 900 AD, coinciding with the general collapse of the classic Maya civilization. By the post-classic period, Edzna had been largely abandoned, although it continued to be visited and used for ceremonial purposes. Dezibil Chaltun is an ancient Maya archaeological site located in the Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico, approximately 15 kilometers north of Merida, the capital of Yucatan State. The name Dizibil Chaltun translates to writing on flat stones in the Mayan language, reflecting the site's significance in the Maya civilization. It was a major center of population and culture for many centuries, with evidence of continuous occupation from around 1500 BC to the arrival of the Spanish in the 16th century AD. One of the most significant structures at this ancient site is the Temple of the Seven Dolls, so named because of seven small effigies found within when the temple was discovered by archaeologists in the 1950s. The temple is aligned with the equinoxes. During the spring and autumn equinoxes, the sun rises directly through the doorway of the temple, creating a visually striking phenomenon that attracts many visitors. Gibanche is an ancient Maya archaeological site located in the modern-day Mexican state of Quintana Roo, in the southeastern part of the Yucatan Peninsula. The name Gibanche, which means writing on wood in the Mayan language, is attributed to the discovery of a wooden lintel with inscriptions found at the site. The city played a significant role in the region's dynamics, including its interactions with other major Maya cities such as Calakmul, located to the southwest. The Cormoranes Pyramid is one of the central structures within this ancient site, and like many Maya pyramids, it is a stepped pyramid, characterized by its terraced levels and a temple structure at the summit. Archaeological evidence suggests that the Cormoranes Pyramid, along with other structures at Zibanche, was constructed using a core of rubble fill, which was then faced with cut stone. San Gervasio is an ancient Maya archaeological site located on the island of Cozumel, off the eastern coast of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. It served as a religious and ceremonial center, particularly dedicated to the worship of the goddess Ichel, the Maya deity of fertility, childbirth, medicine, and weaving. Other structures here include Las Columnas, the palace, the altar, and the arch. Nohok Na, or the Great House, is one of the larger structures at San Gervasio. It likely served as an administrative or elite residential function, given its size and prominent location. Cojunlish, located in the southern part of Quintana Roo, Mexico, is known for its well-preserved ruins and extensive coverage of the ancient Maya civilization. The city is believed to have been established around 200 AD, with most of its development occurring from the 5th to the 9th centuries AD. This period marks the classic era of the Maya civilization. One of the most iconic structures within Cojunlic is the Temple of the Masks, dated to around 500 AD. 
This temple is notable for its large stucco masks that adorn its facade, representing the sun god. Another significant feature of Kohunlik is its Acropolis, a large architectural complex that served as the administrative and residential center for the city's elite. The Acropolis houses several palaces and courtyards, and also includes a ball court, which is a characteristic feature of Mesoamerican cities. Our next site is Yaksha, an ancient city of the Maya civilization, located in the northeastern part of Guatemala. The name Yaksha translates to blue-green water in the Mayan language, a reference to the hue of the nearby lake. The city's strategic location between the freshwater lakes of Yaksha and Saknab provided it with a unique advantage in terms of resources and trade routes. The site encompasses over 500 structures, including temple pyramids, palaces, plazas, and an impressive network of causeways that connected Yaksha with other nearby centers. Yaksha is known for its astronomical significance, with several structures aligned to the movements of the sun, moon, and stars. The astronomical complex includes structures such as El Diablo Pyramid, which is aligned with the equinoxes, and structure 216, which marks the summer solstice. Our final site in this video is Mayapan, a significant archaeological site located in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. It is often referred to as the last great Maya capital, playing a crucial role in the post-classic period of Mesoamerican history. The city of Mayapan was established after the decline of Chichen Itza, around the 13th century AD. It is believed to have been founded by the Itza Maya, a prominent group within the Maya civilization. Mayapan encompasses over 4,000 structures within a walled city, including temples, palaces, and observatories. At its peak, Mayapan was home to around 17,000 inhabitants. Ongoing archaeological research at Mayapan continues to uncover new insights into this fascinating period of Mesoamerican history. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating ancient history.